voila this is Bruce and I have a quick Michaels haul to share with y'all um this is way overdue I should have recorded this several days ago but I'm running behind on recording some vids uh, I thought life would get a little bit easier with both kids in school that was a lie <laughs> and um just being that I just trying to catch up with other stuff as well not just crafty stuff so um we went to Michaels uh, the second Michael's location in town and picked up some clearance goodies. I don't remember the price of everything and some of the items have clearance prices. Everything's clearance by the way. Some of the items have clearance prices on them but some of those prices are not accurate. Um, so let me just start with these goodies out of the way. Uh, these were on clearance for like, I don't know, 47 cents, 97 cents, something like that. I uh, got the brown feathers, I got the orange ones, and the gray ones Sarita if you want some feathers let me know and I'll send you a pack of orange and a pack of gray and if you want some brown I'll put some in a bag for you too I also found these pom poms so happy about that perfect for Halloween and Christmas time um, I also found more of these oh I love these they're perfect um, so I'm really excited about these I don't remember the price on these They're teeny, teeny, tiny. I found some of this Rick Graff, Rick Graff trim. Uh, two and a half yards each for 79 cents. And I was like, how do I finish off? Oh, guys, that's a different... If I have a chance, if I remember, <laughs> if I remember, I'll show you guys my embellishment boxes. I kind of laid stuff out yesterday, but I didn't glue anything down because I'm like, that's not... I mean, it's... Whatever. I'll tell you later. Okay. I found these for $1.97. You get the compass and the protractor by Westcott. Really cool. Nerdy find. I have found this. Um, I believe this is what Scrap Diva 29. Um, well, it was the, I think the day after she had uploaded the video mentioning this tool. Um, is when we were at Michael. So I asked my friend, Miss Bailey. Hi, Miss Bailey. If that was a good deal from seventeen dollars down to nine ninety seven, if nine ninety seven was a good deal for this tool, and she said yes, it was. So I was like, yeah, because I don't have one of these, and I need one. So so happy I found that. I found another one of the uh, another one of these. I believe it was one ninety seven for twelve like mini brass rings. I'll put it right where the other one is right now for. Uh -uh. Before I forget. Mm, I also found more of this paper. I was so excited uh, when Miss Feli found it. So she got some and then I got away. I said, whatever you don't want, I'm going to get. <laughs> so that's what I got some of these. I found these ribbons. Uh, I believe they were both 27 cents. I don't know if this was really 49. But yeah. Just to have. To have and to hold. Put that in there. Um, let me see what else did I find. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I found this. For a dollar. Oh, look at the moon. That would be perfect for Halloween -y sequins. Glitter star sequins. And then gold glitter. Chunky glitter. Um, Sorry. I also. There's a mess. You guys can see I was painting some stuff for my husband. I had put some dyes away. And then I took them out. I uh, actually stored some dyes. Because I'm actually getting more. I stored them in this Anna Griffin. Like dye binder or whatever. <sighs> it's craziness guys Halloweeny stuff poking over here sorry about this and then I don't know if this light is working for me as it is when I'm crafting but I don't know if it's working for me like like for my vids let me know what you guys think um I also found these stickers four kitty stickers for a dollar really cute glittery goodness uh and then I found these um the stamps and die sets for a dollar each. The cherry one, the set of hedgehog. I found these stickers. These were 40 cents. I was so happy. And they had some that I hadn't seen at the other location. So I was really excited about that. And then I found this one. And then I found these flowers. And these flowers. I don't know how many time I, times I've like started to record this. Like just setting stuff up. Nothing. Not like hitting play or anything. And then. Boom. Something happens. I have to like stop. So. 
yeah like over the last few days actually not just today so this one like i said these are each 40 cents and they're not marked so it's like you don't know what's up and you just walk in there oh those are pretty oh wow i'm not gonna pay i forgot how much they are regular price like two dollars i think i don't know um you're not gonna know but they are 40 cents go to the scanny the scanny scanner and you can see they had a whole bunch of did i do all that okay yeah they had a whole bunch of like markers and i love me a good marker this hardcore marker for 74 cents down from it was 90 percent off 7.49 um i got right here a whole bunch of sharpies like all of these like thicker style it's two lighter blue and a darker blue this other artist market orange 49 cents guys i'm recording i'm recording sorry guys <laughs> had to use my mama voice <laughs> everybody like, oh my gosh she's so scary mm -hmm. sometimes i have to be just kidding <laughs> 97 cents i'm not restarting this <laughs> and then this double-ended one was i can't remember how much but yeah so i told you guys i love sharpies and yeah so happy i found all those and then um, we, I had found one gelato and it was a quarter, but that was it. And they're like, where they have their clearance stuff. And then I asked the lady, do you have any more? The, the, she's like, there's a section in front of the frames for clearance. Okay. Well, I saw clearance, but it was just like stuff that you would find in the frame section, I guess. So I was like, oh, whatever. I saw it on the way to the restroom. I was like, oh, there isn't anything there. When I came back out, Miss Failey was digging through. I'm like, well, there was, um, when I came down the aisle, I had seen him like right here. Well, she was on the other side of that little display. And that's where we found this, this, um, the markers. And we found the gelatos. <laughs> I was so excited. It says 97 cents, but I'm pretty sure they were a quarter each. I was so excited. If they weren't a quarter each, God help me. No, I'm pretty sure they weren't. Pretty sure. I was, yeah, because it was 90% off because of regular uh, 259 So I was so excited. So we sat there and I went through every single color. Like, went through all the ones that had duplicates and we each got one. And then the ones that weren't duplicates were like, okay. Which, you know, like there was a yellow that, I forgot which yellow. There was only one yellow. So I took it because that's my favorite color. <laughs> and then there was, um, like the purples or something. I let her pick which one she wanted first. Because there were like two that didn't have. Anyway, so we were very fair about it. Very nice. And um, yeah, so we got those. I was so excited. I don't know how many of them. I'm going to go back and watch. Uh, I think Miss Cutesy Tootsie. Hey. I believe she used them or something. No, she described how to do it. Because um, I had asked her how to use those. Because I had seen these on clearance. And it, I was like, if I find them. I want to be able to actually use them, right? So, yeah. Anyway, really happy about that. So, then I paid, and then Miss Haley was paying, and then I saw by the exit, they had huge bins of yarn, and I saw this one, and I was like, carousel, my heart. Look at this. Look at those colors. It's like perfectly carousel. It's ginormous. Let me see. Actual weight ginormous. Just kidding. 1,117 yards of goodness. And so it was regular ten dollars on clearance for four ninety seven, and I was like, that ah, I think that's pretty. Could you, you make world worth world's worth of t carousel tassels with this? So I was so excited. So I told Miss Billy, can you please um pay for it? And I gave her the cash right then and there, um, cause I don't, cause yeah, we <laughs> obviously we took a long time to get checked out. So um yeah, so the lady that was there, it was like her first week, but she was very nice, very patient. Usually when and I thought she had been there for a while because she was so cool and so calm. Like, okay, yeah, sure, let me check that price. Oh, okay, da -da. like, like, composed like a person that's been working there for years, you know. Uh, so I was really proud of her, and uh, I was really impressed with her. So when we were leaving, um, the second ca a second cashier had had to come and like help check people out, and so I said, hey, blah blah, I forgot what his name was. I said, so and so is doing really great for just being on the job for one week. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, a lot of times we. When we ask to speak to the manager or something like, or we have to, you know, say something about our cashier or a stalker or something, it's, it's usually negative. So, but I encourage you guys, if someone does a great job, goes like above, above and beyond, 
actually knows how to count change out. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> I think it was Miss Donna Dreams times three. Oh my gosh. Um, she was laughing ha about how the kid couldn't like figure out how to give change. And I'm like, that like breaks my heart and infuriates me. But anyway, so yeah, it is funny, but it's, it's heartbreaking. Cause come on guys, it's change. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I was, I was, um, uh, yeah, L like, to act ask to speak for to the manager take like less than a minute 30 seconds or if you see like at walmart you see someone with like associate manager or something like that and be like excuse me i just rang out at, at aisle six and they're gonna be like oh crap they're gonna have that oh crap face look on their face but just say that she was really helpful blah 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 you know actually i do self check out every time i can but that's different i'm just saying you know whatever okay so i'm gonna show you guys sneaky peek of what i have so far for my embellishment boxes for Tony Craft Purges Halloween embellishment box swap. Now, based on the stuff I have and the stuff I have coming in, um, I kind of I have shown you guys a sneaky peek of what the inside looked like. I'm not finished yet, but oh, I'm gonna do like a sequence mix again and stuff like that. But this is kind of like what I have, right? So it's kind of pastel-y and it goes really cute, really nicely with Beautiful Night. And this is what I have. But I feel it's kind of like the same thing I did last time. You know, a kind of rosette, blah, blah, blah. I just, I don't know. I When I was making this, I was like, I wanted it to be spookier. I wanted it to be spookier. And it just didn't really lend itself to that. And so I don't know if I'm going to redo the outside and just like, I don't like, not that I don't care, but just like, just give whatever I have, even though it doesn't match the outside. But I really don't want to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But anyway, so... On all of them, they're they're slightly different, but all of them have a big spider web doily in the back. These aren't for sure. I just put them there just because I wanted to see what the metallic rimmed around the um, rosette would look like. And then this, um, I'm going to cut off the string, but this glittered house, spooky house ornament from Dollar Tree. They come in a five pack. That one under there, and then a doily like this. And then like a word in, um, ephemera piece and then like some little extra whatever right so that's one of them I have I don't know what to do like I wanted to do spooky like not this was before Tony had shown her box but I wanted to do like a partial tree trunk with like the branches coming this way and then maybe like a graveyard or I don't know but it's just not that just ain't the tea sis like that is not coming out i don't know maybe i'll try again but i was up until past five o'clock working on this working on my swap stuff <laughs> for holy swappers um and looking through gaming magazines for my son to make a friend um my friend's grandson a card but i did not find the images that i was looking for so i was listening to a live not a live listening to a, a youtube video and then flipping through the magazines and then i would like find myself dreaming about what i was listening to i was like Ugh! so i was like yeah i need to go to bed anyway so this is the next one this one has the doily the gold around the rosette the house the um, this is just like a gray um spider web trick-or-treat with candies you know it kind of i try to make it go with this like hocus pocus was the witch with the black hat trick-or-treat with the candies all hallows eve and then i could go back and put like i have completely forgotten about the rick rack so right now when i was sitting i was like yes because i didn't know what to put around here i was thinking of um where is it putting this but i don't know if it really goes like that would just like totally take any spookiness away from it so i don't know it makes it cutier but obviously it's kind of more cutesy than spooky i don't know anyway so that one and then this is probably my fight. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, so annoying. Anyway. I'm my own worst enemy. Okay, so then I did this one with, it's a haunted house with the little ghosties coming out of there. It says boo. It's kind of crooked because I just hit the light, obviously. And then um, these are, these are, this is an ephemera piece. These are stickers. And then this is a, 
a thingy from um, Tuesday morning, a glittered up spider, and then this is a ring from Dollar Tree. I just cut off the back like Tony had suggested, and then I just layered it on top to give it more dimension. So, I don't know. I want it to be spookier, but I don't, like I said, I don't, I have the materials. I have, you know, I would say Twisted Sisters, because <laughs> I think of the ladies in the images, a uh, spell cast, and uh, several of the Echo Park packets, but like I said, they don't, none of them, none of them have the pastel look, like this one has a slightly pastel look to it, like that go with the stuff on the inside. I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to do it. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't included goodie like last time. I am going to include a goodie. I was going to do a store bought and then also make like maybe some rosettes or something. Like very basic so that then they can layer on top if they want. Or maybe decorate them. I don't know. I don't do it in my life. So I'm going to go and help me. Just kidding. No. Just, um, yeah, I don't know. Like I know they're okay. But that's not what I wanted. And I guess I need permission to be like, no, just do cutesy. Or no, girl, you need to show something different than what there was. It's kind of like what I did last time. And, or just like, who cares? Do spooky outside. doesn't matter what's on the inside. But I kind of want it to go. I don't know. That's just me. A little bit of the OCD I have. Anyways, that's it for this. I'm going to hopefully do a Hobby Lobby haul right now. And I think I have another Tuesday morning one. Did I do that one? I don't know. I don't know, and then I have a rack video to, girl, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I need mean, that, and then a review on some, like, stuff I got on Amazon, I don't know, I need, I need to stop talking about it and just get to the break, so, okay, thank you, alright, thank you guys so, so much for watching, bye!